and how does it feel? Um, I'm really excited. I feel really good because it's the first national championship I've, championship I've won. So, yeah, it feels really good to be a national champion. Can you tell me about your run through the tournament? Well, I had quite a few tough matches, I would say. I had Nate the Baines, which was a three-setter, and then Angelique Svinos in the quarterfinals, which is also a three-setter. And then I had Leanne Hong and then, yeah, Annabelle and Janopoulos in the final, which is, she's a really good friend of mine, so it was a bit tough to play her. But, yeah, it is a good result to get up on that one. Did you prepare any differently having to play a good friend of yours in the final and a Victorian teammate as well from the team's championships? Um, well, like, I, I was just thinking of it as another player. I wasn't really going out any differently. It was just another match. And, yeah, I went out the same way as I did in every other match. So, yeah. And uh, you were part of the Victorian team that lost in the final of the team's championships. Did this go a bit of the way to making amends for that? Yeah, we lost in the finals and we, we had actually beaten Queensland in, in our pool, but then we lost them in the finals, so it was a bit disappointing. But, yeah, it's good to be, come out a winner in the nationals, so, yeah, I'm really happy. And what's next for you after this week? Well, I've got the 16s nationals starting next week and then... Yeah, I've got all the couple of ITFs next year and heading up into the international tournaments. So, yeah, it's exciting. Great. Thanks very much. Well done. Thanks. So with Harry Borshia, the national Optus 14s champion, how does it feel? Yeah, it feels good. Um, first national title, so um, I'm really... I'm playing really confident tennis and uh, try and take it to the next level. And you also played in the 14s Teams Championships and you had a really good run there. I think you're undefeated in singles. Do you think that helped your preparation for the singles? Yeah, yeah. Um, I played really well at Teams. My coach helped me out throughout the matches and just gave me the little things to work on, um, which was really good. And that helped me through the Nationals as well. And in the final, you played Dana Guccione Victoria, who's probably the biggest player in the competition. How did you go about taking on such a physically dominating opponent? Yeah, I haven't lost to him yet, but um, I just went in confident and i just been playing really well the uh, last couple of days and didn't really think about what, what sort of tournament it was and what, what it meant to, to win a national title. I just went out there like another match. And I'm told that you're the first Tasmanian to win the Optus 14 since, I think, 1984. Um, what does that mean to you? Yeah, it's good. Um, Richard Fromberg was the last winner. Um, he won it twice, but I uh, only have to get a winner once. But it um, feels, feels really good. Be pr yeah, yep. And what's next for you? I hear you got some siblings who are playing over in the States. Yeah, I'm going over to visit them this Christmas. Um, on Thursday this week. Um, really looking forward to going over there, hopefully playing a tournament with my brother over there. And um, yeah, it should be good. Well, great, congratulations. Thanks. Thanks.